let's see it. That's probably a better view, right? All right, first pick, first pack. Ooh, that pack's pretty bad. I have no idea how the bot works, by the way. What they value highly, what they don't value highly. Um, I want to play a bit on Arena just to get used to the limited gameplay on Arena for Worlds. Obviously, drafting against bots is not super interesting, but I figured I should at least play a tiny bit, see if there's anything that I need to get used to, or if it's mostly the same. So I could take Hero of the Pride, I could take Commanding Presence, Bounty, I could take the 4-4, lots of white cards. I think the 4-4 is a pretty good pick. I think I like Hero of the Pride a lot, even though it's maybe kind of a narrow pick. Dream Trawler, yeah, I see a lot of people honestly not do very well with Dream Trawler in their deck. I think the reason is, and I mean, I drafted Dream Trawler yesterday and I, I went free in the draft, but what happens is you first pick Dream Trawler and then you force Blue Eyes no matter what. And if Blue Eyes not open, your deck's gonna suck and it's gonna be kind of hard to kill your opponent. And honestly, if my opponent just had like agonizing remorse for my Dream Trawler, or if they have a really good deck, I could see just getting decked, you know, pretty easily with a mediocre Blue White deck, even though you have Dream Trawler in your, in your deck. Not sure. When does the PT start? Next Thursday. It starts with draft and then the rest of the way is standard. You just drew zero trawlers in nine games. Well, you probably didn't pick cards like Omen of the Sea and First for Meaning high enough, or maybe you just didn't see them in the draft. Because that's all you want once you have Dream Trawler in your deck. Still have no idea what to pick here. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Green, why do I want to pair that Typhoon with? I haven't played with that card much. It's like, okay, can take over a game, especially on a flyer. Oh, the North American player store. Yeah, it starts, I'm guessing in one hour. I think Phoenix is what, seven hours behind? Stream alert said Soul Herder. Oh, did I not change the stream alert? Yikes. Yeah, good good catch actually. I changed the title but not the go live notification. Alright, I'll change it now. Sorry, Matt. Alright, no one's gonna tell me what's the first what's the card first pick here. Cause I have no idea honestly. I hope I don't open that pack at the PT or at Worlds. This pack kind of blows. I don't know what to take. I think it's between Typhoon. I don't even know what the best white card is. I think it might be Hero of the Pride. Let me take Black Omen. I think that's not unreasonable. It's a good card. Typhoon, Omen, Typhoon. All right, I'll take the Typhoon. Rare is missing. There's a Pursuit, it's not a super early pick. That dude's pretty good, better than it looks. Could play the Hoplet, but I already have double green, doesn't go very well with my first pick. This is just pretty solid card, honestly. I haven't played with that card much, but I think it's good. Alright, I'm going to take the Blessing, there's some good white cards, but you have to be heavy white. I might end up white green though, I don't know. It's a lot of Chimeras. Omen of the Forge is okay. Oh, the Lair is pretty good too, I guess I'll take the Lair. White's just super open. Could be white green. White green enchantments. I think I'm gonna take the training. That card's been good for me. And it'll be good if I end up white green. Okay. 
Not too sure how the bots work. That's kind of a late Maze Warden. This card can be good in white green, probably. I haven't played with that card much. This card's also nice in white green. I don't know how realistic. How often that comes up. Prepping for Warzone Arena. Yeah, I want to get used to the limited game plan arena. Figured it might be stuck. I mean, I'll just take another red dude. The, other, the white cards are just so underwhelming. Ooh, wow, that's a really nice Stampede Rider. Commanding, wow, the three white cards just tabled. That's absurd. I think it's probably just Hero of the Pride if I ever end up white green. Do the bots just hate the white cards or? This is kind of a mess. Last pick. Wow, Stess and Champion. Well, it's an easy pick. Blessing. Easy pick. Every color is open. I don't even know what's going on here. Birth of Melodis. Probably Pursuit. Pursuit's not very good if you have a ton of enchantments, though. Nothing's really good for me in that pack. Might be white, I might be red. I'm probably more red than maybe inferior it's just good. Aggressive red green decks. Rapping flame's kind of a white red card. Trickster doesn't do much. The brute doesn't do much. I'll take that in case I end up white, but I think I'm gonna be red green. That deck's not very good. This is okay. This is pretty good too. Spidey could be good. This guy's reasonable filler. The Wanderer might be good. A little pump spell, I guess. Oh, removal. I don't really hate red. We do Cronor. That card's the nuts. Oh, I don't have Carbo Live on. I don't know what Carbo Live does for drafts since I never draft on Arena, but. Ooh, Yoros Westing. That's one of the best cards I can get. The four drop is pretty good, but. Not not anything special, another blessing. All right, deck's shaping up nicely. What's my curve like? A lot of fours. Take Omen of the Forge, I don't have a ton of twos, I think. Take another training. Hunt Master is probably nice. Two drop. Spider is kind of a sideboard card anyways. That dude might be good in my deck. A few ways to target. Yeah, Final Flare is a nice combo. Was uh, Did I ever pick up a Final Flare? I have got one, yeah. Just like your enchantments. Carried or Blood Aspirant? Do I have like Sacrifice? I have Omen of the Forge. Final Flare, I think it carried it. Ooh, second Omen or third Training? I think I kind of like Training over Omen of the Forge, is that crazy? Might be, I'll take Sideboard card. This card can be good, I don't know if I can get myself to play that card ever, but I'll take it, I guess. Ooh, just a Warden tabling. Ryan may take card to kill. Oh, okay, yeah. So how does it work? Is that my sideboard? How do you build your deck? All right.
I'm probably gonna play the layer. Uh, let's see. Oh, I caught a blessing. Oh. Uh, let's see, let's see. How many two drops do I have? One, two, three, four, five. That's traceable. I don't have any two drops in my sideboard. I could play Frill. I think I want all my free drops. And probably not all my wardens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I could play Final Flare. I think that card's pretty good. I don't mind not having the Spider main deck. This guy kind of blows. It is an enchantment, it was my champion, but gives up strength and one trick is good enough. Scaling Velocity could be good. I haven't played with that card much. I think it's probably much worse than the 1-1 one -one Vigilance. And already right, have a few escape cards. This guy's serviceable, he could be cut too. What's my mana gonna be? 9-8, looks reasonable. Could do 10-7, oh 9-8's probably good. All right, what should, oh that's 40. What do you think, chat? Should any, uh... oh my face is hiding some, my face is hiding that and that. Should I have another Maze Warden? Should I have a Frill? Farmer Geddon says, Afternoon and good luck, Yellowhead. May you fall in the finals to Autumn. Hey, where can I sign the, the papers? I'm in. Oh yeah, the layer. I cut the layer. Yeah, that's too fancy. I like synergies, but the layer is too good. I don't really want to cut a training. It's just really good to put on the Rage Hound. It, 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 like, there's so many 2-4s, etc. 1-4s, 2-4s. So I see really good with Champion 2 and Final Flare, Hero of the Games. Maybe just cut another 4. Because with 2 Blessings, you really want to make sure you have like early drops. Be a beast, cut a land. Yeah, honestly, that's not terrible. <laughs> now, really short stream. I only have like a couple hours. I was gonna try and start an hour early today to still stream for like three hours, but didn't quite get there. I could play 18 lands, honestly. I could play eight and eight. This curse pretty low. I don't really have mana sinks, do I? I mean, I have a typhoon. Hotmaster? Yeah, I could see cutting Hotmaster. Is Hotmaster just worse than Maze Warden? Probably. I could play Frill. I could play Frill and 8 8. I don't hate that. I just have to mulligan. That's. Can I edit my deck? Is 5-drop better than Huntmaster? Probably not with 16 lands, right? Oh, oh yeah. That's a good point. I haven't seen that card do too much. Mostly, mostly it's 5 toughness, which is nice, but... I kind of wish this was a forest right now, but we'll see. Easy. Just gonna play a Rager on turn two, since I don't really have anything to ramp into. I guess I could have gone carried it into Frill plus Rage Hound. Rage Hound into here is tempting. It's kind of ugly. This kind of owning me. I guess I can put the... Hmm. I can put the blessing on the hero. Kill dad, they kill my rage hound, but at least my hero lives. 
just don't have a good play to counteract the celebrant. Um. Oh. Because I'm playing on Arena, I'm not used to Arena. See, that's why I need to play on Arena. Bronze Steer. Bronze Steer confirmed. What a freaking disaster. Giving hope to all other bronze player out there. This frail's pretty nice with that card. We'd fight that right away. I think it's better to just get a board presence right now. All right, only one mana. We can sag the wings. Sag the wings. That's kind of a cool combo, actually. You put it on the priest, you sag, you sag the wings after blockers, more damage. All right, one red up. I don't think they can have much. All oh, right, they can sack something to make it four power. All right, I'll kill those fire ants. <sighs> kind of messed up again. Actually, I could just steal the priest, right? With all these enchantments I have, that's not a bad one to steal and they're stuck on lands. Why are you doing your prep on Arena? I want to get used to limited gameplay on Arena since I never play limited. I want to see if there's like... Just get used playing limited on Arena. I feel like it's going to be valuable, you know. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it doesn't really matter. I feel pretty... I don't want to jinx it, but I feel pretty comfortable when I play on Arena in these tournaments. I've done okay so far. I've played three of them, and I don't think I've made any bad misclicks, or I don't think I got screwed by the auto-tapper. I'm usually pretty careful, so, I mean, we'll see, obviously, but hopefully that, hopefully that just holds true. Should I play my one toughness first, or have this didn't play? I can go, like, two, three... He does have this dude in play. Plus, if they have the Mogus favor, it's better play. That's fair. PB's talked about how he plays poorly on Arena because he's not used to soft software. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, whenever you you see like PB play, or he's always like pretty low. Like a lot of the MPL players are pretty low tier on on Arena. I'm always a bit surprised, but it makes sense. I mean, you'd rather play. Like, the latter's not the best testing. Did he say he plays... Did PB said he played poorly at the... Um, at the big tournaments, or just... On, in, at, when he's at home, or... Is he able to, like... Kind of focus and...
Arena is good for the viewers, but I feel like someone can misclick or order their actions badly. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's inf unfortunate if that stuff happens when you play on Arena, but I think Arena has just so many more upsides that, you know, it's just something we have to live with now. Like, you can't cheat, you can't, like, get punished for your open and slow pace of play. Um, you don't lose time shuffling. It's just, I mean... I mean, when people play live, they make stupid things too, right? I mean, I guess it's not misclicks, but... The casters talk about your deliberate play, which does get annoying after a while, yeah. Desania says, PV on the Pro Points podcast, he was reflecting on his below average performance at the Mythic Invitational and concluded Arena was a contributing factor. Yeah, th apparently they started working on the real drafts on Arena. Like when they talked about it a few weeks ago, I thought like 2020 was pretty unlikely for arena for real arena drafts. But then like yesterday, I think they made it sound like maybe it was maybe it'll be available by the end of the year. Oh, they dragged. They didn't drag my champion. That's kind of wild. I guess it was his champion just lethal. I wasn't even paying attention. Hey, Saz Bronstad saying, I'm just trying to get used to limited gameplay on Arena. I want to see if it's a big deal. If I feel like there's not much to it, I'll, I'll go back to drafting on Magic Online for the last few days. All right, that's just GG. My biggest problem with Arena is that I tend to actively think through my plays and sometimes just accidentally cast something, which is 100% my fault, but frustrating nonetheless. Yeah, there was something... I remember there was a poker player. He, uh, when he was at a big, big table, big final table, or, you know, in a big tournament, sometimes what he would do was he would just, like, clasp his hands and not have his hand on the mouse and just only grab his mouse when he had made his decision on what to do. So if that's really a problem you have, you could do that. You could just make a habit of not holding the mouse, just clasping your hands while you're thinking through your plays and do that. Wow, tear free, no big deal. All right, I need to go hang up like just a few things. It will be like 30 seconds. So I got my comfortable pair of jeans in the in the wash. I'm so used to playing fast-paced games like Call of Duty. That when I play Arena, I feel like that part of me takes over. If that makes any sense, yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean, the, the video game, the arena, arena just makes you do that in general. Just, you know, kind of click, 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 click. It's not always a great thing. Is that my MPL show? No, that's arena. When did we get that one? It's the... Maybe it was at the... It's the one like it has the symbols in the back. Maybe they gave it to us at PAX, at the Invitational. I can't remember exactly. No, it, I don't have any, I don't have any MPL gear yet, actually. I don't think so. I have some stuff from the Mythic Invitationals and the Mythic Championships, but not actual uh, MPL stuff. All right, should I play this dude as a blocker? He's fine, yeah. One thing I'm kind of, I don't know how much it contributes to my success on Arena, but I actually almost never used the space bar. 
I just always cleric, you might have noticed. And I think that's probably a good habit when you're playing in big tournaments and high stakes matches, not to be like click, 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 and I think it can be a bad habit. Hey Damon, I'm not playing the spider. I think the spider is mostly a sideboard card. There's almost no one toughness flyers and I already have other escape creatures. I usually don't, I just usually don't main deck that card. Hey Gab, you should have a tryout ban for a world. I don't know if I'm just lucky to have a rut for, yeah, I saw you were like winning a lot. Well, we already submitted lists for world, so it's too late. I actually thought about building bench reclamation. Um, or, you know, just play like Teferi and Ban basically and maybe some sweepers. But I didn't have, I had to, I had to pick that. I didn't have time to test everything. So kind of made a decision there. All right, so what can I do? I can fight, I can offer a trade. I could just fight something and say go. Could fight something. I would have to fight the lamp pad. I think that's reasonable. Fighting the lamp pad this turn. And then next turn I have a four free that can maybe get an attack in. I could have led with frill of possibilities too. Oh, he sacked it. Oh, but it's a four two. Don't want to force a trade. I don't think so. All right, I think that was reasonable. Playing the one one made it makes some sense. I could use the extra mana next turn. I think that was a reasonable turn, but maybe it was better. Hey John, what deck did I submit? You know I'm not gonna tell you right now. <laughs> You're so funny. When Enchanted Creature dies, oh, okay. So I could play Hero? And slam the training on the Hero? I'm just gonna play the layer, honestly. And tab down the priest while it's, it's a two power dude. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, did I tap my own carotid? Nice. See, this is why we played as on arena. Only top tier donors to the podcast will know what the deck the deck is submitted. Just fake news. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's try to not mess it up. Why is this still showing? Uh, all right, what now? All right, how does this work? Pay two, then tab that, auto pay. All right, I do the omen right now. Oh, it's a known bug? Well, hopefully they fix it. It's just bugged out. So was the thingy on tad, but right. Okay. See, that's why I need to play a bit of arena. All right, this is pretty good. Just equip this dude, some more damage. Diversify my threats. Why is my guy one toughness? Oh yeah, these falls cause the enchantment is still mine, but they control my creature. Dude, I can't have these commands as an MPL player get smart. I'll get fined. I 
think people like kind of blew these fine things. Like people just love the drama. Obviously, Wizards not gonna find us unless we do something really bad. Like, can you imagine the backlash if we start getting fined for just saying our mind? It's like it looks so bad for it. Like, people are dumb. People like people are really dumb on Twitter. Or maybe I'm really naive and we're gonna get fined, but I doubt it. People love flaming Watsi. Honestly, it's it's really bad. Imagine being people who work for Wizards. Like, I would just not be very happy. Like, people are just so ungrateful. And I mean, I've talked about that before. It's like people are just so passionate about magic, and they just have like unreasonable expectations. I mean. Are you like perfect in your day job? Like, do you do everything perfectly? And like, I, I don't know, man. It's it's kind of unreal sometimes. Uh, what's bad in this hand? Nothing's really bad. Hand's kind of amazing. Hey, that dude. I guess I can get rid of that dude. Maybe Stampid Rider is good. Stampid Rider into Typhoon. What are you probably not getting fined for? So in the in our contracts, it basically says that if we say something that basically reflects poorly on Wizards or in, I don't know what the exact wording is, but I mean, basically, I'm assuming it's just a clause so that oh. Hmm. I'm gonna be able to fight that next turn. It's basically a clause to make sure we don't like get out of line. Like start like trashing wizards and stuff. Hey, uh, Sifasia, thanks for the kind of message. All right, um, I guess I just play Typhoon. Oh, wait, no, that was terrible. I was just supposed to play that guy and then play a blessing and kill the one one. Oh well, my bad. Not to act like a baby, but explanation for Oko is that in playtesting and in elf ops and creatures. I heard, actually I heard that what happened is that someone at Wizards wanted like a really good card and they kept they kept saying like Oko wasn't good enough and they kept making it better and I guess they didn't have time to really test the latest iteration of the cards. Wow that was a good draw. I mean I could I could I could do either. I could steal the token. I could just steal the token right away and cash for a billion. I don't know, there's a lot of things that have to go wrong for Oko to get printed. Hopefully, you know, we don't get another Oko anytime soon. I just picked you to win Worlds Gab, don't mess this up for me. <laughs> thanks, Smash Donkeys, thanks for the Twitch from Resub. I love people who are like, Hey Gab, I really need you to do well because I'll get like this free stuff worth like pennies. I'm literally playing for three hundred thousand dollars. I don't, I don't need, I don't need to, you know, the extra motivation of like people getting free sh free stuff on Arena. I, I, I promise I'll do my best either way. Whether you pick me or not, <laughs> no, but Gab. You need to do well because I get free sleeves on Arena if you do. Oh, okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best then. <laughs> oh. All right, I do lose that guy at some point, so I need to kill them fast. They can tap something. Eh. 
Maybe I don't fight the 2 2 there. I could get. I could have plus 2 plus 2 indestructible, right? It's an enchantment creature. No, it's not. They could have plus 3 plus 3. Hmm. Alright. Obviously, playing Wanderer before attacking was. Oh, they forgot to tap. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a classic, right, Varus? Varus says, Watsi does things well and rarely gets recognition for it. Like, I think people are trying, though. I see, like, people on social media try and point out good things when good things happen. And, but it's so much easier to just criticize and to say, like, something nice and doesn't feel as special, I guess. Sorry, Gab, I went with Mengu, but if you could win, that'd be just fine also. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, free, can I kill them? Uh, probably didn't play that game super well for me. Five, six. Yeah, it has to attack. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, they're just dead. I'm just slurring them. Cool. I'm just awful. Yellow hat, yellow hat, arasacharu, tum tum tum. Classic slurls. Jen, Jenny? No, Jen. Hmm. Arisa Turaru. Tum tum tum. Well, it looks like I need to do some googling. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how to say that. Jen, Jen, Genie, maybe. I'm not sure. Thanks for those seven months. That's got to be someone who changed Twitch names. I don't recognize that screen name at all. Who are you, mystery resubber? Was mystery, was cryptic message? Rooting for you since Ignite Memories plays, that was 1% and you make it. Good, Dr. Gary. It was actually 10%. It, it, it does look like it, it's, it should be less than 10%, right? But I, I was shocked. I remember I did the math right after the match. And it was like close to 10%. And I thought it would be like way less than that. I thought it was like, you know, 3%, 5%, 2%, 1%. But so I actually didn't get that lucky. I also lost the match. Is there a point in playing that when I already have like a good curve? I'll play that, dude. I'm not sure that's right. Maybe frail discarding the 1-1 one -one is better. Arena Bronze is great testing for worlds. Not exactly, but I have my reasons. Mono Red. Um, I'll just play the Huntmaster. I don't want to lose my thingy to a bolt, I guess, but maybe I'm playing too conservatively. That's a good screen name, MTG. Krill Ultimatum was much better, yeah. I agree. I mean, the Ignite Memories was kind of cool because it just, it was just kind of so absurd and I don't know, they were both. Uh, I'm a fan of both. I'm not biased at all either. It's like best of one, you get, is it the algorithm where you get like the better hands in best of ones? Does that work for draft too? I feel like I've got an all like really good opening hands for the most part. Hand smoothing. Yeah. Boy, that's a lot of damage. Jeez, 10 damage. Did they top? I wasn't paying attention. That's one thing that's nice about Magic Online. You can check if they topped afterwards. 
Um, yeah, I'll play that and then attack with these two. Does that even play around another portent or am I still dead to portent? I think I can probably beat a portent playing that way. Yeah. I can port into 4 1, I can block, take 6, go down to 1. Could have played the champion too. Not sure which one was better. Annex, Monorite Annex, nice. Oh, this dude has to attack. I mean, I could just go down to one. Are they dead on board? They block my two biggest dudes. So what if I go training, training, attack with everyone? They block here. They made big butt on here. That on here, they take one, two, seven. All right, I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna block here. How bad can that be? Oh, I know Annex is smaller now. So they have two blockers. I mean, I think they're, it's gotta be training, training. I don't know. Well, I fix it. Well, I mean, I guess I'm dead to portent, but I don't think I can be the portent anymore. Could I have done something better, chat? Did it specifically print Annex for Emberclave? Oh yeah, wait, what? Oh, well that was awkward. Did it specifically print Annex for Emberclave? Um, I doubt it, I mean, you could argue that they probably knew that Annex would be much better and constructed than all the other ones. Did I just have lethal? They could have just chumped chumped, right? They block the four free and then they put free toughness on the other. So that's two trample. I think I only had seven damage trample if they blocked properly. The access is better in constructed. Well, you got, I mean, annex is better in standard, right? Unless my testing for worlds was really bad. The one one from annex can't block. There's a lot of one, these one one satyrs in, in the set and they can't block whether it's the card that makes a one one token, the four, 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 five that makes a one one. All these cards, no block arena. What did they decide to take? It looks curious me sure when I didn't have a green, I probably would have taken Frel if I was down. All right, I think I just get rid of Mountain. White, black. I think I like playing this guy first maybe against white, black. Um, I think I should just play the Warden. It's one less damage. I think Warden is good. I think maybe playing Champion is correct. I think playing Chimera is probably the worst option.
PT Phoenix starts in one hour. Because I guess they're... I thought... Is Phoenix eight hours behind or seven hours behind? Phoenix time zone. It's 8 a.m. right now. Well, I guess they're eight hours behind. That makes sense. I guess it's pretty far west. The mountain time zone. I was locking up Hawaii time zone earlier and it's called the Hawaii Aleutian Standard Time. I wonder what Aleutian is. Is that like the region, kind of the Hawaii Aleutian Islands? The Aleutian Islands, also called the Aleut Islands or Aleutic Islands, are known before da 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 da. The Zil Aleutian. Aleutian. Wow, okay. I don't think that card's very good. That's the second time someone's cast a um, card against me. Is there anything between Mountain and East time? Yeah, I think it's Central, right? There's Eastern is 6, Central is 7. And then Mountain is 8. And then Pacific is 9, I guess. All right, what do I have? Can attack. This is good. I mean, they're close to dead. That free man up. I won't play my thingy, I'll just play another creature. Looks like they need a lot. Shatter this guy. Yeah, opponent's name is. I don't know. Maybe it's a reference I don't get. Doesn't look like the greatest screen name ever. You're impressed? The time zones? Well, I go to the US all the time, so it's it's not very fair, honestly. I mean, it's not that impressive, I guess. All right, should I flex? Should I flex on opponents? Well, blessing. Just cruising, cruising for bronze tier. <laughs> Easy clap for any four worlds, yeah. Basically. Just went 7 0 at bronze tier. Feel really confident for worlds. I should tweet that. Name is almost certainly just blatant anti Semitism, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's weird that, I don't know if you can report that or... This is the Ben Stark testing method. Yeah, I guess so. Um, hmm. Two drop. How long is the flight to Worlds for you? I have a flight that connects through Seattle. That's like nine hours, I think. And I have like two or three hours layover. And then I have like another five hour flight to Hawaii, I think. So it's bad, but it's, I'm used to it. And it's not, it's not, it can be worse, you know. So I leave tomorrow. Probably first flight is at one, I think. So I probably have to leave the house at nine. And then I get in Hawaii at 10 p.m. plus 11 hours time difference. So that's 13, it's 24 hours trip. No, door to door. Yeah, it might be 24 hours door to door. Oh no, then we have to pick up the car and go to a place. It's probably like 25 hours door to door. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. All right, so if I put that on that, it's Four four. I can just play Hero of Games and just do cool stuff next turn. It's a bit greedy, but no, it's fine. I'll play the just tap out for random stuff and I can play my cards. 
What if for 17 million channel points we bring back the next draft command? We could do that. That could be a good idea. You get to make a command for a lot of points. I mean, obviously, I have to, like, put my seal of approval on the command, but... That, that, that would have to be like pretty expensive one though. Because that card does nothing, right? Or not much. All right, what now? Now we get to deal a lot of damage, right? The question is, do I shock the one one or not? Yeah, they can sack it too to kill my... I probably want to just shock that one on. I don't lose my Skirk Mishar. And next turn I steal their dude and it's just GG. Oh, you want specifically the next draft? I got rid of it yesterday. We can bring it back at some point. I was just... All right, that's quick, one hour, one hour.